Good morning, everyone. I oh, have lipstick from yesterday. I guess it's like permanently stained forever when they say stained, matte. They are not lying. First, kind of giving you an insight to my morning routine. I have two kids. I go to school full time and I work full time and I have uh, rituals that I do every single week, no exceptions, no excuse. Fasting is one of them. So I'm gonna take you along through my day and kind of show you what I do. Hopefully it helps you, I don't know, um, to keep my mind off of food and stay strong. The first thing that I do is set an intention every single morning. I meditate and so you just saw the meditation live in action. And then after that, I set an intention, and today is not letting these motherfuckers get to me. Not allowing anyone to take the power. If somebody says something I don't like, if somebody does something I don't like, I'm not gonna let that control me. I'm going to put a smile on and be happy, right? Because at the end of the day, it's just punishing me. When I am so upset with somebody, it just punishes me. I hope you like this video. I hope it helps you, you know, achieve your goals if fasting is one of them. If not, cool. If you're not into that, no judgment. Um, don't judge me. But so I like to also clean every single morning just because I live in a small apartment. This place gets like a freaking tornado every single day. And if I don't keep up on the cleaning, it will take over me. And Clean space, clean mind is the motto. So um, let me know your thoughts. Remember, first step is gonna be to fill your water bottle. Once again, this lipstick is no joke. So fill your water bottle, uh, make sure you get a water bottle you like because that's always a struggle for me. If I have those big ones with the big tops, it is just so hard to drink. So I got one with a straw and I really like them. It's still really hard for me to drink water. So I just make sure that I set that intention as well because even when you have a cup you like, it's still hard. So you have to make food for the kids in the morning. So I would just suggest to Block it out of your head, basically. You have breakfast first then usually, so it's really not hard in the morning for me. It used to be, but I've kind of trained my brain that I wasn't eating breakfast, and um, it does get better. And so if you're just starting out, I would recommend uh, getting something fast, getting something quick and easy that you can just give to them, and you can just go about your morning and not have to watch them eat. Um, I think that's the biggest struggle with everybody is having to cook and not eat. So keep your water by your side. Every time you think about it, drink. Drink, girl. And boy. I also plan my day out pretty to the T. This was from last week. Um, we are starting a new week, obviously. Oh, it's Monday, by the way. So Monday is my fasting day. I like to start off strong, resist temptation. On the weekends, I do get a little crazy. So Monday is when we stop playing, start getting some rules back in the life, and become serious about our goals for the week. I have to finish an assignment and make another YouTube video and start on my next assignment. So anything in my mind right now, I like to dump it out so I'm fresh. I don't have to hold on to these things. I could just let it go. Tuesdays, I always have speech therapy. Thursdays, I have my son's ABA therapy. Wednesdays, I have ninja class with my son. 
So all these things I just like to write down. So we're fresh and I swear like we don't realize how much mental space some stuff takes us, especially if you have kids and there's so much going on for yourself, for them. It's just so much to remember at all times. So it's very important to just write it down. Um, I do make a daily habit tracking just like this one. right here I mark my habits that I need to accomplish I will be doing that today they can change weekly um, but it's really important for me to do that so I stay on track I have homework notes groceries I make my own planners because no planner I have found has ever fit my crazy lifestyle um, and so it's just really nifty to do what you want not what you, they're making you do and write what you want, not what they want you to write. And if I have anything that's bothering me, I'll just like save a page to write it out. I always have a page for important dates. And <clears throat> these are my vision boards. I have a few in here because I keep thinking about more stuff. So the kids are ready to go, bags are packed, we're about to walk out the door. It is 6.55 at the moment and we usually leave around 7. So another big tip is the busier you stay, the less you'll be concerned about food. So your mental processes and your mind is coordinated to already eat at certain times. So during that time, you need to be prepared for that and find something to do. Me personally, um, I have a load of schoolwork. I'm going to edit videos, I'm going to read my book I'm reading, um, I have work in general because I'm going to go to work. Um, so I have all these things already pre-planned for me, especially when I get hungry, I just keep on trucking. Um, Mondays call for coffee. So black coffee has 5 calories or less, you're not breaking your fast with black coffee. It has been a godsend, so has diet um sodas i understand there's a lot of backlash around diet sodas if that's not your thing totally cool but it does save my life during my fasting days especially at night right now i am on lent and i gave up diet sodas why did i do that lord only knows literally but i just keep on drinking water and black coffee all day um and if you're not a black coffee type of gal, try to add Himalayan salt to it. I've heard it works wonders. Three years ago, when I was 65 pounds heavier, I decided to stop drinking any coffee with any sugar. And so on the weekdays, I'm very strict. It's time to hustle. There's no more messing around. I allow myself two days, that's it. You will not succeed if you try to limit your intake completely like been there done that i've never heard of anyone being successful with that way so you just have to understand that you're going to crave sweets and when that's the time like if that's happening do it but plan it don't just do it sporadically just like taking time off do it but plan it take a break but never do it sporadically don't let your mind take over and give in to anything enjoyable. <laughs> I know that sounds like crazy, but if you're gonna mess up your schedule, do it when it's planned. Don't just do it because you're feeling bad. So during fasting, really try to make this more of like an intention. This I'm doing this for my body, I'm doing this for me, versus doing it to lose weight. Because if you're doing it to lose weight, and you get to your goal, you're no longer want, going to want to do the things that got you there. Fasting has so many studies and benefits, which I'm going to talk about later, that will assist you in life in general. It's so good for you. And I understand that a lot of people will disagree with this, but there's literally studies on studies to back that up. And so I just wanted to come on here and just talk about the morning tips um, that I do to help me stay strong but black coffee for me is seriously a godsend i am addicted to cold brew starbucks and i've been making my own coffee but mondays i allow myself 
cold brew Starbucks. Starbucks cold brew. Just finished my workout. So I go to nine rounds, um, three days a week, and then I go to yoga once a week, and then I do a stretch abs day on Thursday. So um, right now I feel a lot better because I felt like really bloated from yesterday. Still not eating. Um, finished my coffee. So that's all gone. And just gonna continue to work, keep my mind off of food, um, because that's literally the goal. Don't put food in your mouth. That's one goal. That's it. Okay, so just some very generic advantages of fasting. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a consultant, I'm not a physician, as they say on YouTube. Um, but basically, it improves overall health, it boosts cognitive function, it makes you less cloudy. I've heard from many people because you're just not focused on food. It's surprising to know how much time you spend eating daily. Um, protects you from weight gain, improves overall fitness, supports weight loss, decreases your risk in diabetes, and also there's a study um, that it supports cancer patients. It actually helps them. There is There was a show on Netflix, and I cannot remember the name, but there's also a show on YouTube. It's called Fasting. It was in 2017. Highly recommend you watch it. Um, just it's another thing to add to your tray and you do not have to be extremes there is eight hour fast there is 16 hour fast there's 20 hour fast so start slow i started with four hours i think um, and then i made myself all the way i'm i do almost 48 every single monday and it definitely decreases the bloat and just makes me feel strong and ready to take over the week so those are just some benefits i thought i'd share um and it would never hurt to try don't jump into it always go slow know what your body can handle um don't mistake your hunger cues for sick cues though or for feeling like if you're gonna pass out then do something like definitely eat but if you're just hungry i promise you, you'll get through it Lots of water. A lot of times our body mistakes our hunger for being thirsty. So remember, drink your water.